Hey everybody, it's Jim with Reverb.com. We are at AES in New York City and we are with Larry from API. Larry, thanks so much for taking the time. Oh, nice to be here, thank you. What, uh, what new stuff are you showing? Well, what's new at this show is the 535 LA line amplifier in the 500 series. This is just a piece, I call this a piece of analog goodness. I wanted to call this the, the tone box, but it's mm -hmm. really something that you can be used to take uh, an output from a keyboard, or output from your Pro Tools channel, and just fatten it up, make it sound good. Awesome. Because passing a piece of gear, oftentimes through uh, a piece of API, just it makes it bigger, fatter, and, and, and warmer sounding. In this particular case, the, the 535 is, is modeled after a, a line amplifier that API used to make back in, when we did a lot of broadcast business to drive long lines. So you could go from your mic free output to drive to the recording truck, which is 500 feet away, right. use a line amp to drive that far. So that's really how this piece came about and why now we're in introducing it in the 500 and when series. Is it, when is it shipping? It's the day the show closes, we'll be shipping them. Awesome, awesome. What are, what are these things over here? JDK was started to produce products that are pretty cool, that sound really good, but don't necessarily fit into the design criteria of API. So, a very nice dual channel mic pre, a very nice compressor, and a very nice four band sweep EQ. API doesn't make any sweep EQ. The, the highlight of this particular product line is the 8MX2, which is eight mic preamps and an eight by two mixer. So you, can ha you have a gain and a threshold for each of your mic pre's, which you can take out directly if you want to, or you can send it to the mix bus and mix down eight channels into a two bus. So what are we looking at here? Well, this is the box console from API, uh, a smaller format console, but very much a professional console. This console gives you four completely featured mic inputs with EQ, and as you track in a smaller studio, you're not always you're not tracking a whole band at once generally. So you can track up to four channels at a time. And then once you get your mix built, you then can return back to the to the summing section, which is 16 channels, and then these inputs can be line returns as well. So you can have a 20 by two mix down to mix down your project, and we include in the in the center section a 2500 stereo bus compressor. So you have a stereo bus compressor on your stereo bus, but the cool part about this is we can divide it in half and you can select as you're tracking to take one or the other of the sides of this compressor and put it on the input side. So you can choose to send this compressor to channel one or three, this compressor to channel two or four, wow. and then flip it around to be a stereo bus compressor when you're mixing. I know I know a bunch of studio engineers that would love this, but I, I know that there are a bunch of home recording guys that are drooling over this right and, now. And, and you know who's been, been hot on this thing lately? It's guys doing EDM. Yep. Why? Big, fat, big, low end. That really makes those guys shine. Absolutely, awesome. Well, uh, we love API, Larry. Thanks so much for talking with Thank us. Thank you. Uh, you can find them on Reverb.